Hey guys, what's going on? Here we are in an abandoned Chili's that just recently closed about three weeks ago. Sorry about the wind. It's about to rain. As you can see, they've already blacked out the sign. All the signage has been removed. This has a really sad story to it. This Chili's was seriously mismanaged and had no idea how to treat their customers. Let's go ahead and do a temperature check. It's 61 degrees out here on this Thursday afternoon. It is one o'clock in the afternoon. As I was saying, this Chili's behind me has a really bad reputation of how they treat their customers and how the manager treat their staff. I just talked to a pastor that said he ate in here about a month ago. Him and his wife, they come in here, they sat down, they got some coffee, done dinner, whatever, yada, 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 whatever. He felt like he had to ask permission to get a refill on his coffee. He said they were that rude in here. And he wasn't the first person to tell me this. I had several people that told me the exact same story. They were absolutely rude in here, they were nasty in here, and they did not care. The owners and the management didn't even bother to take care of the property. So finally, three weeks ago, the bank stepped in, foreclosed the property, and told them to get out of here. Now here in Jackson, Tennessee, this is the only Chili's here. Will they ever do anything with this building? I hope so. Maybe somebody will buy it. Maybe they'll repurpose it. I don't know. But this is pretty sad. This is a case where the management seriously mismanaged this place. And now it's, it's abandoned. And I looked at the reviews. It's true. There were some pretty bad reviews in this place. So without further ado, let's take a walk around the property. Let's see what we can see. You got Walmart right over there. I mean, it's in a great location. Give you a picture and a scene of what Jackson looks like on this side of town. There's Chili's, of course. As I said, you can see where they've removed all the signage. And there's hundreds of restaurants all through here. You got Chick-fil-A over here, you've got Wingstop, you got IHOP, all kinds of restaurants, the cookout, it's all through here. But here's a good shot of the front of the building. Now, as I was told, and it wasn't just one person that told me this, I talked to 10 different people because I was curious to why this chili is closed down. I wasn't gonna do it. There are no trespassing signs on this building. There's a good look inside. Well, we might as well look through this window. And the one reason why I didn't wanna do it, Walmart has security over there. There's another look. We'll look through this window. It looks like a very nice restaurant. looking through this window. Like I said, there are no trespassing signs. Yeah, there's mesh on that window. You can see right there where they would have had some signage for chilies.
there's a look at their parking lot. They had a good sized parking lot here. It's in a great location. Really nice location to where they're at. I was told the owners and the management didn't give a damn about this property. Things that should have been fixed, they didn't bother fixing them. And it was true what that pastor told me. He was very adamant about it. I said, and I asked him, I said, you had to ask permission for a refill of coffee. He goes, yeah, you felt, you felt like you had to ask permission to even get a refill in your coffee. He said they were absolutely rude in here. And then he's not the first one that told me this. As I said, I asked 20, 10, 15 different people because I want to get my story straight. And they all said the same thing. They were absolutely rude and hateful in here. The management absolutely didn't care about the staff and the staff absolutely did not care about their uh, employees. And you can't run a restaurant like that. Here's another look at the parking lot here. Just right off the exit. Here's another look at this side of the building. Maybe I can get a shot of inside the kitchen. I don't know. As I said, there are no trespassing signs. I really don't want to get too close to the building, but I also want to give you guys some good shots of the building. Well, there's a good shot of the kitchen. I like that paneling. I love the wood look. I like the western look in it. I like these stairs here. I like the building. It's a nice looking building. I like that bench sitting there. I've ate a couple at a couple chilies. Never had a complaint. I always thought their food was delicious. They already took out the flat screen TVs. I can see where it's dirty in here. Wow, I can definitely see where it, where it wasn't taken care of. Walk this way. It's a beautiful restaurant. It really is. It's, it's gorgeous on the outside. I love the aesthetics of it. You can see all the signage has been removed. Now this is the only Chili's here in, Ten in Jackson, Tennessee. That's what I was told. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know. I believe it. That IHOP behind me that I showed you, that's the only IHOP here in Jackson. Here's a look at the front of it. You got your standard ashtray out here. You got some more benches out here. Let's see when we see through these windows. It's a good shot into the restaurant. I like the stonework here.
Guys, I look into the restaurant. Yeah, I can see where it's kind of dirty. And it's definitely dirty in here. There's a look. Don't want to get caught up in the rose bushes. Here's another look at their parking lot. And like I said, they had a big ass parking lot. Very nice restaurant looked like inside. And the outside of it's beautiful. And like I said, this is what I was told. That the owners and the management didn't bother to keep up the building. Didn't do the necessary repairs. So whoever owned it stepped in and said, get the hell out of here, I'm foreclosing it. So apparently, on the other hand, I guess they had a, new, a dispute with the landlord as well. A lot alone, the staff that was rude to the customers. <laughs> You can't run a restaurant like that. There's no way to run a restaurant. And in a, that is no way to run a restaurant. To treat your employees like crap and then the employees treat the customers like trash. That's no way to be. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the thumbs up. Please leave some comments. Please share my channel for more content like this. From an abandoned Chili's. I'll catch you on the flip side. See you later. Love you guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.